So ever since I bought this truck, I've noticed a, uh, wait, hang on. Hey. So there's a bit of an issue with it. Uh, the temp was always up really high. Couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, radiator seemed to have good flow. You know, we got new hoses on it. It's got coolant, it's topped off, it's bled. Heater works. And I'm like, why is the temp so high? Head gaskets are fine. You know, it's not burning coolant or anything. It's not sucking down coolant. I started uh, thinking about something here. I was like, huh. Yes, I know, this is a mess. I gotta clean this. Let's see, where did I put her? I put it somewhere. Oh, yeah. I replaced the thermostat. <sighs> this is the uh, one that was in there. It's a 180 degree one here. I don't know who makes it. But it looks old as fuck. It might even be the factory one. But, uh, I went and bought a uh, racing thermostat. It's uh, one you can find at AutoZone for like 12 bucks. If it's Ford, Chevy, and AMC or whatever. Well, I put that sucker in there. And even driving around town and romping on it, it's the, the temp doesn't even go to the middle mark of the of the temp gauge. And uh, seems like there's actually get uh, the heat transfer is actually going to the radiator because there's a whole lot more heat coming out of that radiator now. Because before the the lower radiator hose would be freaking you know cold, like you cool your keep your lunch cool with that shit. But since I haven't really been doing any repair videos, I figured I'd show you how to get the thermostat out. Now on this board here, you go to pop that hood and you're just like, where the hell is the thing? You know, you feel this thing here, you're like what the hell? Well, the way they design this is you put your hand here, and you just press on a little thing there. Some people are used to the little lever on the side, but I don't know, I kind of like this a little better. But uh, this was real, a real simple job. Basically, take a little bit of fluid out of your radiator first, undo your hose, which is a lot cooler now. That's just ridiculous. But now what you do, I believe these are 13 millimeters or 14. I, I forgot the size that I used. There's one bolt somewhere here. Anyways, there's a bolt right down here, and one on top. Undo those two, and you can pull this back, and then you can pull the thermostat out, and just place, put it back in, put these two bolts back in, and t just get it nice and snug. I didn't bother replacing the gasket. The gasket didn't tear or anything, so I figured it'd be okay. If it does leak, I'll just grab a new one and take care of it from there. But uh, I think the next major thing we'll get for this truck is an Edelbrock carburetor. This Holley carburetor has turned this thing into a sleeper, but it has also turned it into a very temperamental bitch when you first start it up in the morning. Um, I even, you know, pump it three times and try and let it warm up, but it just idles way too weird. So I think we might pull this carb, shelf it, and put an Edelbrock in here. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, first priority of major things is the EC. I gotta get that fixed. That's uh, that's not cool. I had to deal with that last couple days. Been pretty warm. But now it's gonna start raining. Now that I'm gonna be off after this, after tonight, be off the whole week. It's gonna be fucking raining. It's coming together, tubes. And I'll give you guys a better undershot of this truck here. With their new cherry bomb exhaust. I have to say I do love the independent front axle suspension. It's rugged. And it rides pretty good actually. I think that's because of the coil spring suspension. I wish they would have kept that on my Model Explorer. I think uh, torsion bar suspension is a little rough. Because uh, the co-worker's truck has torsion bar suspension up front. And uh, 
it rides sort of like uh, that guy there. Now mine's a little bit smoother because of the air suspension, but yeah. Oh yeah, I got mud on the mirrors. Huh.